Good morning. Happy Tuesday, parents and students. A uh, couple updates. Number one, yes, I know my hair is short. Uh, a couple days ago, I couldn't take it anymore, so I just took the clippers to it, and honestly, I feel loads better. Uh, my hair is short, uh, shorter than I'm used to, but um, yeah, I feel better. I don't have to wake up feeling like a big mass of hair on my head. I feel like five pounds lighter. Uh, so yeah, I understand. Looks different. Uh, looks honestly not like you're used to, but is what it is, right? Uh, second update. Um, I'm sure your parents have probably heard that um, over the weekend, our governor, Ron DeSantis, he made the decision that the rest of our school year will be done online. Now that means a couple things. Uh, that means we're going to be doing a lot of this type of communication uh, for the rest of the school year. For the next like four or five weeks, we're going to be doing more of this. Um, but this also means that our school will be closed, meaning the school building, we won't be able to go back. Um, so with that being said, we're going to have to get used to this. Uh, this is going to be how the rest of the school year is going to be going. Um, Miss Guy, our principal, is going to be giving us a lot more information over the next couple of days just to kind of figure out how we're supposed to run the end of the year. Uh, because I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but I will. And once I know more, you guys will know more. Um, it's kind of disappointing to me. Um, I like to finish up the school year with you guys, the students. I like to finish it with you guys just to kind of see how far you guys have come and celebrate with you guys, you know, learn some fun things, do some fun things. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, but this is our reality now. This is what's happening in the world and whether we like it or not, it's going to keep happening. Uh, so we're just gonna have to kind of get used to it. Um, does it suck? Yeah, it does. But what are we gonna do about it? There's not a whole lot we can do other than accept that this is our new reality and just do the best we can. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I am your, still your teacher. You guys are still my students. I am still responsible for teaching you guys and you guys are still responsible from or uh, for learning from me. So with that being said, why don't we waste no more time and kind of figure out what are we doing today? What are we doing this week? What are we learning about? Let me go ahead and pull up our objectives so we can get started. Here we go. All right, guys. So what are we doing today? Well, today I am reading the text Astro the Stellar Sea Lion so that I can use information gained from the illustrations in the text to learn about sea lions. Illustrations in the text to learn information about sea lions. Now, I'll know I have it when I can correctly answer two questions about key details in the text and correctly answer two quiz questions about the text's illustrations. So once again, let's break this down. What are we doing? So today we're going to be reading the text, Astro the Stellar Sea Lion. Now, I'm looking at that picture, and one thing I was thinking about when I picked this text was I wasn't really sure if that is an illustration or is that a photograph? And here's what I mean, like look closely at that front cover. And this is the text you guys have too. Look at that front cover. Part of it looks like an illustration, like it could be drawn. And then part of it looks like a photograph. Because look at that ball. It looks almost real. So this is where I'm having a hard time deciding. Is this fiction? It's made up. It's not real. Or is this nonfiction? It's going to give us information. I'm not really sure so that I can, so we're going to be reading this text so that I can use information gained from the illustrations in the text to learn information about sea lions. So notice what the objective said there. The objective said information. That means we're learning things, which means nonfiction, right? But then you look at the word illustrations. Now, last week I told you guys that illustrations doesn't necessarily mean fiction always. Sometimes a nonfiction text could have illustrations too. So in the case of this book here, could this be a book with illustrations that is also meant to teach us things? Is this a nonfiction text with illustrations? We'll have to find out. So we're gonna be using these illustrations to learn information. 
So this gives us another clue that this could be a very strong nonfiction text to learn information about sea lions. So I'm wondering, so even though these are illustrations, is the point of this text to teach us things about sea lions? I'm not sure. Now, I will know you guys have learned information about sea lions when you guys are able to correctly answer two questions about the key details in the text and correctly answer two quiz questions about the text illustrations. So while we're reading today, while we're looking through our part of the text, we're going to be looking at those illustrations to kind of think about what can we learn from them? Why is the author putting them there? What can we learn by just looking at those illustrations? Sound good? If you need those directions repeated, go ahead and skip back to the beginning of this video and join us back here when you're ready. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this text. This is our first time looking at it. One of the things we gotta do when we get a new text is we have to scan and predict, right? We have to think about what we're gonna be reading about. We can't just jump into a book and expect to know everything. We have to scan and predict so that we understand a little bit about what we're reading about. So this is the cover we saw a minute ago, Astro the Stellar Sea Lion, right? So here we have our first illustration. We have a lot of text over on the side, but now we have our illustrations here. Once again, these are really good illustrations. Like I honestly cannot tell the difference between what's real and what isn't. These are really good. Either they're really good illustrations or there's some photographs in there too. I'm not really sure. So one thing I'm noticing already as I'm scanning is I see that Astro the sea, I think that's Astro. It's gotta be, right? He's in the cage, he's in the back of a truck. But I know sea lions aren't supposed to be in there. And this lady is feeding, I guess that's Astro because I'm looking at the text over here and I see Astro over there. So she's feeding him. So I'm wondering if maybe she's keeping him as a pet. I wonder. Maybe he, maybe they're not keeping him as a pet. Cause look, looks like these scientists over here are trying to release him into the wild. Huh? Oh, I guess that's him right there. The other ones are sleeping. Oh my goodness. It is really windy outside. A lot of rain. I guess that's Astro right in that illustration, but he, he doesn't look like he's happy. And if you look at this illustration, noticing that, I guess these are the same people from earlier. Are they trying to capture these seals? Or are they trying to put them back in the wild? Oh, look, I guess that's Astro. Cause I, I remember from earlier, Astro is brown and the rest of them must be like a dark black. Looks like Astro doesn't want to go. Wonder why. Oh no, these people here, I guess that's a net. Are they trying to capture Astro? I'm not sure. Hmm, bunch of kids. You see all those kids? Those kids are hanging around Astro. Wonder why. Oh, look at this one. He's hanging out in the parking lot. Hmm, wonder why. So I'm, I don't think that these people are trying to keep Astro as a pet. I think they're trying to help him somehow. Huh. I wonder what she's doing here with him. I see a fence. Is he being kept now, like in a zoo? Are they, oh, look at this one. They're taking him to California, to Connecticut. Where are they taking him? Now he's in a, looks like a zoo. He looks like he's being kept in a zoo, and I think that's it. So guys, here's the thing. I'm not really sure what type of text this is. I'm not really sure if this is meant to give us information about sea lions, or is this meant to tell us a story about sea lions? But maybe, what if it's both? Think about that for a second. What if this is both? What if this is a story like, you know, with characters setting problem. What if this is a story that also gives information? Could it be both? Well, if it's both, what do we do about it? Do we look for characters? Do we look for setting problem? Do we think about central message? 
or do we think about like main idea specific details if this is a text that both tells a story and gives information well what do we focus on hmm I think we're going to have to read part of this text to kind of figure that out. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to read you guys a small part. I'm going to share my thinking a little bit, and then you guys can take over. So while we're reading today, a couple things we need to think about. We need to think about what type of text is this, because I'm still not really sure. We need to think about what is this text trying to say, or really, what's this text trying to do? Is it trying to give us information? Is it trying to just entertain us with a story? Is it trying to teach us a lesson? We're gonna to have to think about what the point of this text is. And while we're reading, like our objective said, we gotta look at that il those illustrations. We're gonna look and see what those illustrations are gonna show us. And maybe those illustrations can help us figure out what the point of this text is. So let's go ahead and take a look. Astro the Stellar Sea Lion. Astro is not an ordinary sea lion. He is a stellar sea lion. He lost his mother when he was only a few days old. No one knows what happened to her. Luckily, a scientist spotted Astro, hungry and all alone on the island off the California coast. The young pup was brought to the Marine Mammal Center, a place that cares for sick, hurt, and stranded marine mammals. Let's pause there for a second. If we're trying to decide what type of text this is gonna be, we have to think, is this something that could happen in real life? Is this something that could happen in reality? Well, look at that illustration. Nothing looks weird. Nothing looks like fantastical. Everything looks pretty normal. Everything looks like it could happen, right? Because look at that illustration there. We see that, I guess this is Astro. I'm, I'm assuming it is. Astro is in her cage on the back of a truck. And according to the text, a scientist spotted Astro hungry and all alone. She doesn't look hungry and all alone, but I guess she was off the island off the California coast. So I guess that's where this is. So I'm guessing this did happen. I'm guessing this has happened. So I'm guessing this is a real thing that happened. The young pup was brought to the Marine Mammal Center, a place that cares for sick, hurt, and stranded marine mammals. That seems very scientific. Like there's this place where they keep all of these marine mammals that they rescue, and they take care of them. That seems very scientific, and it seems like it could happen in real life, which means I get that this is telling a story, but I think the point of the story is to give us information about these scientists that take care of sea lions. Hmm. And I'm looking at that illustration there, and it's showing that Astro the sea lion was kept in a truck. She was kept in a truck and taken to this marine mammal center, a place that cares for sick, hurt, and stranded marine mammals. Now, the illustration doesn't show that, but it shows that she's being taken there. Hmm. Interesting. Let's take a look at the next page. Astro only weighed 39 pounds or 18 kilograms. His new friends mixed up a special smoothie made from ground herring, salmon oil, and whipping cream. Astro happily gulped it down as volunteers bottle fed him. When he gained weight, his friends attached the bottle to the fence of his pen so he could feed himself. There's a lot of scientific words in this one. Like you look at all like the measurement, like weight, pounds, kilograms, uh, mixed up special smoothies. These all sound like things that have really happened, like oddly specific. So once again, I'm still thinking that this is a nonfiction text told like a story. Isn't that weird? It's a story, lots of wind. This is a story that is also meant to give us information. How interesting, right? But now look at this illustration here. You see that this girl, is feeding Astro what looks like, according to the text, the special smoothie. She's taking care of the sea lion. Why? Well, because earlier in the text, we learned that Astro's mom went missing and nobody knows what happened to her. 
So now this sea lion needs someone, this girl here, to take care of her. How interesting. Hmm. So here's what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to read to this page, page six. Now what you guys will notice that the page numbers and in the questions they'll be mentioned page numbers too. The page numbers are not the ones on the top. These are the ones on the bottom of the page. I'm gonna use my mouse to kind of show you guys. Page five and page six, those are the page numbers I'm talking about. Not the page numbers at the top, look at the page numbers at the bottom. So when you guys get to the end of page six, that's where you guys are going to stop. I'm gonna have you guys read pages five and six. You're gonna go ahead and stop, answer your questions, take a look at your quiz, and then we will come back tomorrow and see where we can pick up. Once again, guys, I am here if you guys have any questions. I am still your teacher, despite the fact that we're not going to be going back to our school building. I am still your teacher, which means if you guys got any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message, have your parents send me a text, do whatever you got to do, because I am still here to help you guys. Um, I will be getting with you guys if I have any more updates or any new information about what's going to be happening over the next couple weeks. Um, but we're all in this together, guys. You know, I'm still your teacher. You guys are still my students, which means I'm here to do what's best for you guys. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, do the best work you can, and I'm here to help. Take it easy.